everyone, Cheeky Tam here and it's time for another Munch Pack review. I'll leave a link to the description box down below if you want to go and check out Munch Pack. So let's get started. And also please comment below if you see a candy that's from your country. Slaps Lollipops Paletas. Fold it as you want. To mm. Dulce Serena. Whoa. <gasps> oh, they smell delicious. You get four of these in a pack. No, you don't, there's more of them. Hang on, they separate. Duh. They're actually very thin, they all stuck together. You get, oh really, now it's getting too hard to count. So you get three of each of these flavors. I wonder why they're called slaps. Maybe you whack people with them. Yeah, they're very thin, aren't they? Fold it as I want. Do I need to fold it? Ah, uh, I will. I'm gonna fold this as I want, everyone. I, I don't know how I want it though. I don't know how I want to fold this. It's too stressful. I'm just gonna fold it in half. I know that's boring. Oh! Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna fold this in half this way. That's what I want. Wow! Actually, this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying doing this. This is what I've got so far. I want to just keep folding it. So I've gone from this to this. Oh, let's hope it comes out properly. Get off. I made this, everyone. Now, I've, oh, it's sad. It wants to make another shape. This is actually a really cool concept. I love the idea of this. Yum, it's a watermelon flavor. Wow. Well, that's sweet. It's really super sweet. It's a watermelon flavored. And then you get these two other flavors. Oh, actually, no. I said there was three flavors before, and I've suddenly found a green one. Make that four flavors, everyone. So in this package, you get tamarind blue, watermelon, mango, and green apple. I'm going to try and make another one because I'm really into this now. This reminds me of those wax strips that you kind of like lie along your leg and then you rip off. I mean, it might actually work. I'm not gonna do it, everyone, come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold this one up a few times and I'm loving this. Yeah. This is probably really boring for you to watch, but I don't care because I'm having fun. So I'm just folding this one up, like rolling it up like this. Okay, I thought I could make that one look really cool, but it kind of just looks like a hammerhead shark. Mm. Oh, the blue one's a bit spicy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, it's attacking me. I like it. It's a chewy toffee lollipop thing. And this one is a really spicy flavored one. I love these ones. Nutty Max. Oh. So there's two individually wrapped lollipops. Rolls in here. You can smell the hazelnut as soon as you open the packaging. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. This one is absolutely delicious. It's got milk chocolate on the outside, wafer biscuits in the middle of it, and like a Nutella hazelnut, did I say Nutella? Nutella hazelnut filling in the inside. Don't even know where this one's from, but it's magical. Pocky green tea biscuit sticks. Oh, I opened it from the top and then I see a little pool thing here. Mm. I drew the short straw, what a surprise. Oh. Oh, again, they must be stuck together in here. I'm gonna do a little bit of investigation, everyone. I can't just pull them out and show you them. So they've obviously all gotten stuck together. I just like one. Oh, I'm gonna to have to eat my pocky straws like this. They haven't got a really strong flavor to them, but it is quite nice. I like the green tea I, uh, ice cream. Ugh. I like the green tea chocolate on the outside of these little biscuit sticks. Yeah, it's an interesting and subtle flavor. Garlic peas. 
I don't think I'd ever go and actually purchase garlic peas. When I was little, peas is something I hated because it was always the vegetable that my mum would put on the plates. She'd just cook up frozen peas and put a big massive pile of them on our dinner plates and it was just a struggle for me to get through them. I like fresh peas that I grow in the yard. I like those just eating those raw. Let me know in the comments below if there's one vegetable that you're just not a fan of and every time you see it on the plate you just go, Ugh. Whoops! It has to be said, I have just peed all over the ground. Oh, they really do smell strongly of garlic. Oh man, I'm going to be everyone's best friend after this, aren't I? This is what they look like. They're just like little dried peas. And they reek of garlic. So they're crispy little peas and they do taste quite strongly of garlic and they've got like a salt in there as well. I, I don't really like them. They're not doing anything for me. I mean, I just want this to be something else. No. Ooh, Zappa's potato chips, voodoo chips. Oh, really? Voodoo chips. Look at the spooky packaging. Whoa, these are made in New Orleans. Well, are they in the shape of little voodoo dolls or something? No, they're not. <laughs> that was really expecting way too much. Why would they be? All right, oh, well, they're very salty. The flavor's coming off in my hands. There's a lot of salt in these, I might like them. So will voodoo chips put a spell on me? Well, they're nice and crunchy and they're very flavoursome. But I don't know what flavour, what flavour is this? It doesn't say. They kind of got like lots of salty, really, this is what flavour they are, everyone. They've got like lots of salty stuff and as you can see the colour of them, I don't know, there's probably like garlic powder in there and stuff because they're not just plain chips. It's a combination of flavours with garlic. Look, let's look at the ingredients, that might help me. Sugar, salt, sodium, dear, oh no, we're getting into the chemical stuff, I don't want to read that. Toriula yeast, I've never heard of that. Dextrose. It's got onion and turmeric, paprika. Oh, paprika, that's what I can taste. That's probably what's giving it this colour. They're tasty, they're crunchy, they're kettle baked, which is nice. I quite like them. Mmm. Oh, they've got a very strong taste to them though. Grisky peanut cream sticks. Posno. Perfecto slindo brubusu. Oh. 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 They're very plain tasting. It's kind of instantly dry at your mouth. Oh. <sighs> They've got like a peanut butter sort of filling in the middle of it. They dry out your mouth a lot. I need water. 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 Those of you who like peanut butter, you might actually like these, but they're not sweet and they're not particularly savory. They're kind of just in between. They just, they just exist. Plaisir milk latte. Oh, it's a bit melted. So here it is. Oh, it's really chocolatey and it's got wafer biscuits in it. It's delicious. It's amazing how many good wafer biscuit treats there are over in Europe. It seems to be a very popular thing to do. I've tried so many of them that I've, I just absolutely loved. Lovely smooth chocolate on it. I like this one. Haribo sour pommies. These look like they're chips, but like colorful chips, like french fries. Sour, let's hope not too sour. Oh. Oh, pretty. So they've got a sugar coating on the outside. That does look like a chip, doesn't it? I snorted. Oh. Oh, yum. I love these ones. That one was a lemon flavored one. It says they're sour, but they're not really that sour. And I like that they're not that sour. They're like a gummy jelly candy. They're very soft and easy to eat. I think they're delicious. I'm gonna have a red one. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. They're not really sour. You got these things carrying on the front of it like they're gonna be super sour, but they're not. I was worried about having these, but I really like them. Jure's Grapefruit Roll-Up. I've actually had this before and I'm not really a fan of fruit roll-ups. I don't like the idea of mushed up fruit. So this is what you get. It's like a mushed up sticky fruit thing. I just kind of feel like it's a little bit too Silence of the Lamb looking. I know you all want me to make a face out of this and put it on my face and peel it off and go Bleh. I mean it smells really delicious. Okay. I just want to kind of go put it on my face and do a science of the lamb thing. Calories. Look at how much of it I had. I, I just don't, I don't need to eat the fruit roll up because I know it's, I don't want it. You know what I like about fruit roll ups though? That you can roll them up again and put them away. If you love roll ups then I reckon you would love this one. It's like a gourmet roll up to me. Crazy. I can't believe they've got a chocolate bar called Crazy. It actually says extra on the bottom there. I didn't realize. Crazy extra. Yep. Mmm. I do love a bit of crazy. Why does that not surprise any of you? Chocolatey goodness. It's got like biscuit in the middle of this one and like biscuit balls, I think they are. I'm not sure what language this is. Soup, click, 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 what? Click, 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 the click, 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 Milk chocolate coated wafer with crispy rice. It's not biscuit at all, everyone. I don't know why I thought it was biscuit. Because it's quite hard and crunchy. It's quite a dense wafer in it. But it is good. I want to get one of the balls out. Shush. Oh, yeah, that is a rice puff. <laughs> Creepy gummy. Oh. I'm quite disgusted and horrified and can I just say that half of his body's missing. Where did it go? Oh gosh. Huh. I wonder who decided that it was a good idea to make them into the shapes of creepy bugs. Were they having a picnic one day and they saw one of these fellas and they thought, you know what, I'd like to eat that like in candy form. I'm just trying to get it out of the packaging so you can have a look at it and please remember that half of his body is missing. I don't know why it's missing. He probably got into a fight. He kind of looks like a fighter. So that's it. Oh gosh, I nearly dropped it. That would have been horrible. It's quite disgusting looking, isn't it? I mean, it actually smells delicious. Yeah, he smells good. I'm guessing his bitey bits are probably a different flavor than the, his body. It's very sticky. Oh, he is tasty. That's a beautiful gummy candy, I like it. It's a really cute concept. The gummy candy itself is really delicious. I think his little bitey pincers things are like a great flavor and the body is like a pineapple flavor I don't know either way it's really delicious thank you so much for watching everyone please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more I'll leave munch packs link below I hope you enjoyed this munch pack review and I'll see you next time have a fantastic week bye